Hello everyone, in the previous video, you have known or learned the ways to get Adobe Acrobat DC Pro 2020 installed successfully on your computer. Now it's time to explore its advanced features. To get more useful videos like this one, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon and choose the word all so that you can get all notifications when my new videos have been uploaded. To utilize these advanced tools of the Adobe Acrobat DC Pro 2020, you need to arrange or place those tools readily on the toolbar panel for the sake of later use when you open other PDF files. Now if you don't know what toolbar panel is, this is the toolbar panel. It's an area or the place where you can see the quick tools so that you can quickly access those tools and it allows you to quickly hide the tools that you don't want and add the tools that you want to use or need to use frequently. Okay, so there are two things that I'm going to show in this video. First, I'm going to show how to hide the tools that you don't want from the toolbar panel and the second one is to add the tools that you want to see so that you can quickly access those tools. Well, first of all, you have to do right click on anywhere that is available over here on the toolbar panel. And after that, you have to click on here each tool so that you can see which tool you want and which tool you don't want. How can you know the tools you want and the tools you don't want? Well, technically, when you get to use it more and more, you will know which tool you want. Okay, but in this case, I want to tell you my favorite tools and the tool that I don't want. Okay, first of all, I want to remove the tools that I don't want from the toolbar panel. Do right click um, on the panel here or over here if you want to. And then go to show file tools. And for me, I don't like this. Uh, but if you want to get it back, just do the same thing. Okay, and then you get it back. So now I want to remove this. I don't want to. Uh, save files to Adobe Document Cloud okay and send files over here and this icon allows you to find text or to find any particular word or phrase from the PDF which for me I just do you know uh, control and F I will be able to see the box like this one yes so to me, it's not needed, but to you, it might be useful if you don't like to use shortcut like Control plus F. Okay, but to me, I don't like it because I want to save some space so that um, I can, you know, add more tools. So click on it so that you can remove it. Okay, so how about the tools that are powerful or the tools which are advanced for you to work with PDF? Those are the tools that I really like to use and I use very often. Here are some highlight tools that I want to show to you. First, it's a tool that you can rotate your PDF file uh, clockwise, rotate your file anti-clockwise. You can extract a particular page in your PDF file. This tool will allow you to add text to the PDF to fill the form by typing your words without you know having to convert to words at all this allows you to crop the particular page so that you can get only the area of the PDF file that you want and this will allow you to delete any unwanted page in a PDF file or oh, this is a very powerful tool that I like to use especially when you download the book which is the kinds of image uh, so you can search when you want to search so this tool will allow you to uh, make the non-searchable uh, PDF become the searchable PDF this allow you to add text but this allow you to edit the text add picture remove picture from the PDF and this will allow you to you know uh, present your PDF if you save your PowerPoint to PDF file and also there is uh, there's other tools as well like the tool for you to add the password to encrypt your file so that other people might not uh, use it for the purpose that you don't want them to use 
Okay, now let's do it. Okay, once again, do right click on the toolbar panel and choose uh, custom customize quick tools. And then you can see the box. So you go through from the top here. So click on this uh, tool. Okay, so click on this icon so that you can expand it. Okay, here's the tool I like. So click on it. But I already added, so I don't have to do it again. Click on this. Choose your add. Click on this and in fact if you click on this tool and you add then you also can add a website to the PDF file which I'm going to really choose it or not scroll down okay and then click on um, organize pages well I like to add delete tool okay so I rotate the file to the left I rotate the file to the right extract what else okay go to scan and o OCR okay then click on crop pages out of the side okay so here uh, I recognize text in this file what else okay and one more it's protect so go to protect okay and choose the word restrict click on it and now you have the tools but you have to click on save so that you can add those tools here those tools to the toolbar panel click on save well now you have the tools that you need to work now that you have added all of the tools that you need to the toolbar panel it's time to explore its usage go ahead and click on pdf1 go back and pdf2 the purpose is to show you that you can open multiple PDF files simultaneously without having to go back to each PDF file so that's quite convenient isn't it say so let me close it and now let's this one is not exact so extract so let me edit it in PDF file directly without having to change it in Word so extract and expand it well, good and saved okay so you see that it's so powerful when you use Adobe Acrobat Pro so it's really easy to use isn't it and click on PDF 1 well here the purpose is to extract uh, page 2 of PDF 1 alright so this is page 1 and go ahead to page 2 here this is page 2 let's say you want to send this exercises paid to the students only without having to send the lesson so this is page 2 so click on extract where is it here it's over here and then it is by default has been selected for you click on extract and now this page okay the particular page that you want has been here okay how about let's say close it without saving first how about if you want to extract more than one page? Well, you have to do control. You have to hold down control key, click it, and a particular page like that. So you want to choose exercise and exercise pages. And then click on extract. Okay, extract. Now only the selected pages will be extracted and combined together. And then click on save find the locations that you want to save and types name let's say exercises one and two and then hit save it's so powerful and convenient right okay now how can you save the PDF as an image and set resolution to 300 pixels per inch so go ahead and click on PDF 3 let's say this is the PDF file that you want to save as image go to file click on save as and click on choose a different folder and then save as time here click on it and there are several output formats here so you can choose either JPEG or PNG so JPEG and then I'll go ahead and click on settings now by default you will see it like this Okay, 
So go ahead and click on this one. More resolution, click on this one. And you can choose 300. Okay, now the output image will be 300 pixels per inch. Click on OK. If you want to change it, let's say 450, if you look, there isn't any options. So you have to do it manually by yourself. Just replace this number with the number you want. The higher resolution, the better quality of the image, but the bigger size. But if it is too big, your computer won't be able to generate uh, the output uh, format like that. So go ahead and click on OK. And then choose the locations. Saved. Go ahead and yes, open it from here. This is the image file that you just extract. If you zoom it in, you can see that the quality is good. It depends on the quality of the PDF file itself. If this is not so clear, the output cannot be clearer than the original file. Go ahead and close it. Next, uh, go to PDF 4. You can fill in the information. Click on it. And here, um, let's say you need to add more information to the, to the PDF file. So click on this one, add text, and then click somewhere here, and then the type, let's say medical status, Mary. Yeah, because of Mary. And if you want to change the color, just simply select or control A, and let's say to red, and bold. Okay, so you do all the way there, the same thing, just do it. Okay, saved. Done. Close it. Now close this one. Close this one. Close this button. Go to PDF 5. This one you can rotate it to the correct position. Click on it. Now you can see that it's upside down, isn't it? So you have to here click on this button to rotate clockwise, rotate and anti-clockwise. So okay. Okay. And you rotate until it's correct. Okay, and then click on saved. Your file now has been, you know, corrected in terms of its positions. Go to PDF 6. Well, sometimes, especially if you are a researcher and you want to, uh, you know, search for some specific information, then you can go over here and click on search. But for me, I know how to get access to the shortcut, so Control F. And then let's say I want to find the word grammar. Well, the PDF itself says that it's not, it can't be searched. So I want to make it searchable. How can I do that? It's possible in Adobe Acrobat DC Pro 2020. Click on this icon, I mean this tool, and then click on recognize text. Well, because there's one page, it takes a very little time. But if it is a book, then it takes some time. Go ahead and click on saved. And now, if you click on find tool or control F, and just type the same thing, and then you know, hit enter, it shows that this word is searchable. So it's easy for you if you download some old books uh, which uh, are not searchable. It's quite powerful. Okay, go ahead and you know uh, click on this one. PDF file 7. Oops, sorry, there's a mistake, I think. So let's open from here. Okay, let's say this is the PDF file, which there are some spaces that I don't want all the page like that. So, how can I do it? I mean, how can you do it? Well, so click on this crop button and then you select it. The area that you want. So the area inside a rectangular shape will be the area that you keep. So double click on it and then you want to crop all the pages in that particular PDF. If yes, click on all. Okay, if just one page, click on okay. okay. From one page one to page one. In total, there are 17 pages. Now, if you do that, then you see there's only one page that you crop. So, I want to crop all the pages because it has the same format 
So click on it, I mean select it, double click, choose all, okay, and now all the pages are cropped properly, easily, all right. So saved, okay, and close it. Go to PDF 8, and this one you will have to delete page 2. Okay, this is the book by uh, Jeremy Hammer. The title of the book is The Practice of English Language Teaching. And then there's one page, maybe somewhat accidentally or purposefully edited it to the page. I mean, I did it because I want to show it to you. Then this page is not related and you don't want it there, so you delete it. Simply uh, stay on the current page that you want to delete. Click on delete and then choose OK. But if you want to delete, you know, from what page to what page, then you can you know, set it from here. Click on OK. Yes. And this page now has been deleted. Cool, isn't it? Nope. OK. Now go to PDF 9. Uh, let's say this is my presentation that I prepared for my um, colleagues uh, to help them you know, get some basic understanding about ICT skills like this, like this, like this. So you want to present it. This file has been saved as a PDF. In fact, the original file is PowerPoint. So I don't want to have a lot of transitions, a lot of uh, animations. So it's sometimes it really uh, make people have headaches seeing the zoom in zoom out things like that so i want to show it in pdf how can i do it well there is one tool missing from here uh, that is the here this tool so uh, show it in full screen so do right click on the toolbar panel go to show page display tools and go ahead and click on full screen mode and when you click on full screen mode it is the same as the powerpoint which eliminates all the animation transition. Sometimes it's quite good, you know, you don't have to show animation because people sometimes don't like it. They want to see the message quickly. Like that, same, same. All right. And if you want to leave it, you can simply click on escape key. But if you do right click, you know, it gonna move back to the previous page left click next page so yeah escape key so that it can get back to the normal state and go to PDF 10 click on it and let's say somebody asks you for this copy soft copy and you you feel that it's not really uh, a good thing for them to get access to everything here but you allow them to see it so click on this icon this tool choose encrypt with password if you don't want people to open the file fine click on it and type the password but you want your friend or someone who asks it from you to see it but you restrict editing and printing so let's say you don't want people to print the PDF file you don't want any change and you don't want anyone to um, you know uh, access the text uh, for screen reader devices for visually impaired so you enable it so that people can also read it so now it's time for you to add password let's say one two three four five and click on ok and then type the same password one two three four five ok ok now if someone wants to delete that page let's say go ahead so are you sure you want to delete the page let's say I save it first and you see, okay, let's say add, okay, you see, um, each time when you want to make any editing to the existing file, it won't allow because it's, it, it's, it's been encrypted with password. So that's really cool. Close it. And now let's go to PDF 11. Oh, I haven't done that. So let's go ahead and do it manually. Let's say this is the file, so if you do right click on it and choose document properties, you can see that it is, let's see, where is it? Okay, here, the file size, it's 
14.64 megabytes so that's that's not too big but you can make it even smaller so that it's easier to send so go ahead and click on file menu here and then choose the word reduce file size find locations don't save it in the same folder it will replace the old file so okay so uh, new okay go to desktop click on saved it takes some time to reduce the file size well if the file size is smaller it doesn't affect so much the quality it does a little bit okay so that it can become smaller so let's go ahead and find it here is the PDF 11 reduce uh, size and now do right click and go ahead and click on document properties and now you can see that it's been reduced to almost 90% so 1.42 megabyte compared to um, the first one it's 14 megabytes so it's, it's so easy to use and these are some tools that I prefer to use hopefully you uh, find this video useful and you also can do it see you in the next video goodbye